Collecting a blood spot sample is a rather simple procedure and should take you no more than a few minutes to complete. To ensure the accuracy of your test, make sure to review the collection chart that came with your test to determine when to collect your sample. Men can collect on any day of the month, and women will need to determine test days based upon their menstrual cycle. Also, please refer to the special instructions on the included card if you are currently taking hormones. Here are the key steps to a good collection. First, prior to handling the contents of the kit, Wash your hands with soap and dry them with a clean towel. Next, lay out the materials that came in your test kit in the place you have selected to collect your blood spot samples. You will need the alcohol and sterile gauze pads, the lancet used for drawing blood, the blood spot card, and the bandage. Print your name and collection date on the blood spot card with an ink pen. Next, Open the cover of the blood spot card and fold it away from the collection filter paper. Tape it to the surface, such as a table or sink basin, with the inner collection filter paper facing out. Open the sterile gauze and alcohol pad for blood collection, such that they are ready for use. Wash and dry your hands again, and then use the alcohol pad to wipe the fingertip to be used for collecting blood. It's best to use the inside tip of the middle or ring finger of your non-dominant hand. Remove the cap from the lancet and position the end against the inside tip of the middle or ring finger. Press the lancet firmly until it activates. You should hear a click. Quickly wipe away the first drop of blood with the sterile gauze. Next, position the lanced finger over the blood spot card. Gently milk blood from the finger. This can be done by applying gentle stroking pressure down toward the end of the finger that has been lanced. Do not over-squeeze the finger, as this can shut off blood flow and lead to an unsuccessful collection of blood spots. When the blood drop is ready to fall, gently touch the tip of the drop to the filter paper. Do not press the finger against the filter paper. Place only one drop per circle. Each blood drop should fill at least three quarters of the circle. Continue to collect blood until all circles are filled. If the blood stops flowing before you have collected enough drops, firmly wipe the lanced finger with a sterile gauze. This should help get the blood flowing again. Use the second lancet and another finger if this is not successful. Once you have collected the blood spots and bandaged your finger, let the spots dry for at least 30 minutes, preferably three hours to overnight before closing the flap. Once dry, close the flap over the blood spots. Complete all sections of the requisition form. It is important to indicate any current hormone usage. If you are unsure of the dosage, please consult with your physician or pharmacist. Topical hormone users should continue using hormones daily as usual, but should avoid applying hormones with their hands three days prior to collecting blood from their finger. Place your card, the completed requisition form and appropriate paperwork in the return packaging provided. Your final step is to apply the return label provided and then take the sample in the return package to the appropriate mailing or shipping drop-off site. Here's a quick look at a blood spot card done correctly. Here's a look at a sample not done correctly. If you have any problems in your collection, please watch this video again or call our customer service department at 1-866-600-1636.